Hi, my name is Kayla Rowland, and for my social media evaluation, the account I chose to talk about that I've been following for about five months now is the USL League One account. USL League One are they're two tiers down from the MLS. So you have the MLS, then you have the USL Championship League, and then you have the USL League One. So they're still professional, but they're not the highest soccer professionals there is. Um, I've gained a lot of interest in soccer since I started working full time for Union Omaha, which is a soccer team in the USL League One. Before that, I couldn't tell you. I could tell you two soccer players, and that's it. But now that I've been following their account and just looking at soccer in general, I've gained a more understanding about a lot of stuff. Um, the overall look and feel and the voice of the account is all about soccer and especially like their league itself. So it talks about different teams like if a team is going into another league that was in USL one, it's gonna talk about that. It's talking about um, goals of the week, saves of the weeks, team of the week, and with the team of the week, they pull people that played well for that week and put them all on this like I guess all star team, and so it's like a very big accomplishment if you're on the team of the week multiple times, you know, because it makes that person feel like they are doing their job and being noticed. Um, the content they provide is by doing the goals of the week, saves of the week, all that stuff. The one that was most interesting to me is the golden boot post. So they post this and it, the golden boot is like the top lead scores for that league so one of them which is the highest league score right now has 16 goals this season and they still have 11 matches they have to play and that person is from northern colorado playing on the hailstorm and then my team we have a lead score that is tied for fifth place right now and he has nine goals. So yeah, it just tells you whose who's boot is the best. When they say boot, like who's, whose shoe is scoring the most goals. And that's, that's awesome to me just to see the growth because before it'd be like, oh, two goals, three goals. And now we're up to like double digits. Um, one of their posts that got a lot of feedback by likes, it was like over a thousand likes on their post, was that one of the teams, North Carolina FC, is going to be moving up and rejoining uh, the tier higher than the USL League One. So they're going up to the championship league. And that got a lot of feedback. So people are excited just to see, I guess, the difference in like, oh, can a USL League One team compete with a championship team? Which they can. When they had the Open Cup, um, my team actually beat this one team that was in the championship league. So it's going to be interesting, that dynamic. Um, and then Team of the Week, they get a lot of shares because if a player is on there, they're going to post it on their story. Um, and then friends of the players, teammates of that players, they all post that team of the week showing their support for their friend, their athlete. You know, if you're an agent, some agents post their athletes have made the team of the week three times. This is, you know, it's a big thing. And then comments, I... Don't see a lot of people commenting on their stuff. It's more just liking it. Um, yeah. Why do people follow this account? It's because if they're soccer fans, they follow all leagues. 
They don't care whether it's the semi-professionals, which is like USL2, all the way to Manchester United, their soccer team. So I feel like it's directed towards, and a lot of people follow it, if they love soccer. Um, yeah. This account, this account does interact and engage with their fans by allowing them to vote on who should be, whose goal should be goal of the week. They'll have like different people for goals of the week and show you their goals. And then you can choose which one you feel like should have that spotlight. And I think that is very important in engaging your fans and followers and keeping people interested in the sport. Um, and then I feel like social media, this is a social media account helps the marketing of this league by allowing people to see more because social media just, it shows everything. So if you can't watch the game on ESPN plus, they'll have like little clippets of, you know, some amazing dive saves by the clean sheet of the year or, They'll have, oh, this was this goal, unbelievable goal, and show you it. So even if you can't watch it, social media brings it to the like a platform where you can catch a little bit of the game.